All right, hey everybody, welcome to the Jed Said Therapy Channel where we make your life as easy as we can using the fewest amount of words as possible. My name is Jed Thorpe, licensed therapist. Are you guys ready for some awareness up? Because if something needs addressing, I'm hearing that all over the place, social media, uh, mental health influencers are toting on about this and that, and they're getting it wrong. What are they getting wrong? They're getting wrong the difference between trauma bonding and drama bonding. If you want to know what the actual difference is, stay tuned. Uh, I think you're going to dig it. All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm glad you're here. Before we continue, though, push the subscribe button or the like button or the follow button, the share button, whatever button you need to push. Uh, even the thumbs down button is fine. Uh, if you do, put some constructive criticism or some feedback that I can learn from. I'm open to learning. I'm open to being wrong. Uh, I'm, I'm open. I, I, I'm not the end all be all. And science sometimes actually changes information wise. So I'm flexible. So uh, put something down. I'm here to help uh, and I hope it is helping. So that said, let's get into this whole trauma versus drama bonding. Are you ready? Oh, by the way, go back and look at number 129. I did a video explaining what a trauma bond is. It's a good video, seven minutes long or something like that. Go check it out. Uh, but we'll recap real quick. Trauma bonding happens when you're in a relationship that's traumatic, that's abusive, that is unhealthy, you know, emotional, physical abuse going on. That's a trauma bond. That's why it's so hard to leave those relationships. And we look at the, the unhealthiness of it all from the outside and we say, why are you still there? That's why it's a trauma bond. There's actually a chemical that's called oxytocin that's involved in connecting people. So that's happening. Trauma bonds, very serious. Do not, don't, uh, don't, don't, uh, don't throw just drama on. I don't think it's, it's not okay that drama bonding is being piled into this trauma bonding because they're not the same at all. Drama bonding, ooh, that's happening when you're trying to connect. And again, it's a connection. It's, you can bond over this stuff, but don't call it trauma bonding. It's drama bonding. You're connecting on a past uh, trauma, bad experience, uh, something that you're feeling like stuck in on some level. I imagine with a drama bond, ooh, you probably told that story to a lot of people. You know what I mean? And really, you're, hey, I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna I'll tell you the truth. When you're doing that, you're not really trying to connect. You're trying to heal. So as you're talking about it, you're on some level trying to work through the emotions that you had during that. So to try to feel better from it. And you're thinking that you're feeling better because they're validating whatever happened. They're victimizing you that all oh, that, I can't believe that happened to you. It's awful. You're such a survivor. Oh, you know, they're validating stuff, but it's not actually healing anything or hear me, hear me out. I don't hear me out. Or you wouldn't need to keep saying it over and over. See what I'm saying? Drama bonding, and that's a bond. I'm sure the oxytocin's there. Drama bonding is when you're trying to heal, probably from a, a trauma bond in the past. So how to identify uh, when you're trying to drama bond? Well, easy. Are you talking to the person that you're, you were traumatized with? <laughs> I guess that's the quickest way to find out because a trauma bond happened with the person. You're probably not connected to him anymore, having a hard time. So you're trying to drama bond with someone else about whatever happened in the past. Isn't that cool? So as I'm doing this video, I'm thinking there might even be another reason why people drama bond other than trying to heal. Maybe they're drama bonding because that's the only way they know how to connect at this point. Oh, so now you know the difference between a trauma bond happens over trauma, abuse, that's why people have a hard time leaving uh, bad, unhealthy relationships versus the drama bond when you're probably just trying to heal from whatever experience happened in the past. Drama 
bonding. I hope that helps. I hope you never ever confuse trauma bonding with drama bonding ever, ever, ever again. And feel free that now that you know this, and then so many people don't, uh, so many, uh, so many people that are, are leaders in the industry, they don't know this stuff. The leaders of, of, of all these people following blindly about what, uh, uh, who send this information to them. Hopefully we can get everybody on the same page as uh, we're psychologists and, and hashtag science and research are all at. Maybe we, maybe we can do that. So share the video, send it to somebody. And if you are experiencing uh, difficulty tra uh, breaking a trauma bond relationship, go back and look at my video. It's number 129. If you're experiencing a repeated storytelling of an event to people in an effort to connect, just know that you're drama bonding and you're trying to heal from something uh, on some level. Uh, you might want to go see a therapist. I, I might have some openings. So that said, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something. If you like, check out the website. I'll probably put a blog on here. That's found on www.meaningtolive.com. Good stuff. I'm glad you're here. Thank you for the support. And until next time, awareness up.